Right, it's, it's um, January the 10th, 2009, and I'm just going to um, record an uh, audio that I did during my visit to Gillingham in Dorset um, in search of the Beeling ancestors of my uh, granddaughters. And um, this Beeling family start from with Thomas, say, um, 1816, but he actually died in Ashmore in 1895. But we go back to his great grandfather William, 1720 to 1789. Uh, Thomas's father and his grandfather they all um, lived, married, born and buried in uh, Gillingham or Gillingham. Um, we've got other names associated with the Beelings. We've got Bastables, Extants, Wadhams, and Greys. Plus there will of course be others mingling in and out as well. Uh, with other members of the family marrying different people, of course. But the basic skeleton um, is uh, are those main names. So here we have Sheila off on one of her family tree trips to Dorset in June 2008. Right, it's the 30th of June, <coughs> 2008. And I'm at a place called Chillingham. I'm doing family tree research for daisies, Daisy, Amber, Melvin and their grandmother Sandy. I'm at Gillingham near Shaftesbury and I've arrived at 7 o'clock in the morning at the local cemetery. Um, no problems getting here. So I'm just going to have a look around now to see if I can find any related names like Beeling. Um, I think the other names will come to me if I see them. So here we go. Right, I found a Beeling straight away. It's quite a modern sort of um, grave. And it's of in living memory of Vernon Beeling, 1916 to 1965, and his beloved wife Stella, 1917 to 2003. So I'll take a, uh, a picture of that. It's um, a standard modern type stone. Um, grey marble with um, silver grey writing. This is a small plaque of grey. It's almost Henry Grey, 1880 to 1965, and Agnes Kate Grey, Nee Alford, 1881 to 1964. It's just a small little plaque. I'm going to take a picture of another one. It sounds a bit familiar. In the memory of Tom Bastable, died April 1950 to 73, and Ellen Bastable, who died 1954 to 68. Quite a large, granity looking Celtic cross with a square surround. There's also a James Bastable in there as well, who died 1954. There's an Edwin Charles Grey. January 3rd, 1938, age 26. Another grey grave. Oh, I found another good Beeling grave. One's about, I don't know, four foot high. In the memory of Eliza, the beloved wife of George Tom Beeling, who died February the 16th, 1913, age 73. That's interesting. Also, the above name, George Tom Beeling, who died January the 2nd, 1928, age 86. Gone but not forgotten from this world of care, pain and sickness over, joy and light to share. I'll take a picture of this one. It's a beautiful day, by the way, and it's um, Grass and Bay Festival just ended. They had a better year this year, not so much mud and rain. And, um... People like Neil Diamond were playing there, and a lot of new bands I don't know really, but I watched it on telly. And now I'm enjoying going around the graveyard on a beautiful sunny day, looking for the ancestors of my grandchildren. Yeah, the Kalapakas obviously got to quite a few of some of the older ones. and um, moss and stuff. The name 
light rings up there, oh, and they've come across an Edward light. He died in 1908, age 63. That's, he's got quite a big tomb. Um, upright plinth with a huge rectangular surround as well with obviously lots of other people in it. His wife Agnes. I've got a feeling there was, might have been a Sarah light connected somewhere. Of course I'm bound to <coughs> miss some as well. And to miss some. <coughs> As I'm scanning I am doing it quite detailed because it's such a lovely day. I've come all this way. Graveyard, actually, not anywhere near as big as the one in Portsmouth, but it still takes time. Reed is another name that I come across quite a bit in here. A name Reed. Also, a few Fletchers of interest. And Edwin Fletcher, who died in 1958 77, and Margaret Annie. Fletcher, who died 1930 something, age 35. You never know. I've got Fletcher's on my side. And there was Rideouts as well. So I've got a uh, Harold Robert Rideout, who died 18th of January 1961, age 55. And Gladys Eileen, his wife, mother, and grandmother, who died 1990, age 80. The name Rideout and Field are. Um, just found another huge beeling one. In loving memory of a dear wife and mother, Rosina Kate Beeling, who passed peacefully away on the 7th of March 1969, age 65, and of her dear husband and father, Herbert Harold Beeling, who passed away peacefully 20th of July 1974, age 74. And then there's Another stone on top of this square, surrounded with green stones, in the mirror of Eileen Joyce Lo Lomas, who died the 13th of December 2003, age 78. Also her beloved husband, William Ernest, who died the 14th of April 2007, age 90. I'll take a picture of that one. Alright, just come across Nigel Graham Beeling. 1950 to 1998. It's in the new area. Just out of interest. Like I said, there's a very big surname Martin. Lots and lots of Martins in this graveyard. And in loving memory of our dear brother William Bastable, July 1937, age 60. And then there's another one made of similar. I think there must be a Bastable. Here. We've got Louise Bastable, March 1936, age 53. Right, we've just finished the cemetery and I'm now off to um, the church at Gillingham, or Gillingham. I don't know how you pronounce it. Gillingham, Gillingham sounds better. Here yeah, looks quite a nice, solid church. The St. George flag flying up. up. On it at the moment. I've got the Gillingham or Gillingham Garden of Remembrance open to the public. So I'll go and have a look around here as well. Oh, well, that's been quite good so far. I mean, basically, I've parked up, I've been to a cemetery, I'm going into a garden of remembrance, I've still got the church to do. So I don't know what garden is very pretty. All the sorts of old graves. Oh, this is a good find. Lots of old graves. That's a bit half of them been cleared away though. Some have been stacked up against the wall. Like they do these days. This must be the old cemetery that I'm in now. Yeah, it's quite interesting. I'm walking around, come across like a red brick building that looked like it was an old chapel once. I don't know where I'm going, I'll find the path. 
Yeah, this is what it's all about, Sandy, Harry, Graham, Daisy and Amber, and everybody else. It's boring, it's quite for fun. And they're at the back here, behind the... There's a whole load of allotments. <laughs> One way of doing it. The allotments. We're going to look at some of the old stones now. So it's not as big as I thought, but it probably was bigger once. And then there's the church to do. It's quite old. There's lots of um, big old cedar trees. So there must be a history connected to this garden, I should think. Maybe there was a bigger church here. Well, no, there wouldn't have been another church. Then coming up to some old graves now. Loads of them propped up against the walls. Somebody burned 1807. Henry something. Kane, K A I N E S. Kane was born 14th of August 1807. And died 18 something or other. And there's some covered up. Quite a big tomb of somebody covered up. Um, I haven't moved here. That's me. I suffer with hay fever real bad during June, so I'm wheezing away. Anyway, this is um, part one of my visit to Gillingham. Um, going over to part two in a minute. <laughs> Sorry for the wheezing.